Hello Cancers and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancers I'm kicking up my feet. This is going to be um, a bit different Cancer because I'm, I'm, I'm hearing some messages for you okay. Um, one of the things that I'm hearing for you well the main thing I guess is um, if you build it they will come. Now here's the weird part about this. I have been getting synchronicities on the movie Field of Dreams for like the last week. <coughs> and I couldn't make sense of it. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's like a lot of messages in Field of Dreams, really. But um, I know what it is now, okay? I think now is the time that, um, and for those of you who haven't manifested in new love or new you know, your dreams coming in, this is the time to do it, okay? Um, I think uh, this is about manifesting. If you build it, they will come. But this is a, more about building something from the ground up in your mind state, okay? That's sort of how I see manifesting. Um, it's For me, it's imagining as many details as you can and knowing that this is going to come towards you. And that's why we tell you, you have to be really careful, Cancer, how you manifest, right? Um, and what you're thinking about while you're manifesting. So anyway, look, this reading is not going to resonate with all of you. <laughs> so just take what does resonate and leave what doesn't, right? But Cancers, thank you so much for everything about you um everything about you i love you guys i love my soul tribe thank you so much for your support your likes subscribes comments shares donations but most of all your kindness thank you so much for being my peeps um and this channel is for adults only cancer what i did was i i, I started splitting the deck and i i was kind of told to stop and do it while you guys were here but I am very strongly feeling like um, this reading should be about you as much as as much as I can make it because this I feel is about how you're manifesting okay um, between worlds higher power and treasure island <laughs> oh cancer Cancer, this is fabulous. And so we've got a four here. That's that's um, a four in the deck, four of wands. I usually see it as people coming together, reunitement. Um, and this is an 1111, um, the divine number, right? Giving you a leg up here, saying we've got your back. Um, I feel like, yeah, manifesting is kind of being in between worlds, right? Um, this is a time when you really need to focus on the things that you want, Cancer. Because um, I feel like you're able to you're you're able to work with with the divine here, and they want to know what it is that you want. If you build it, they will come. If you're working on like if you're trying to manifest new love, if you build it. If you build it, they will come. You have to focus on what you really want and build that person from the, from the ground up in your mind, what it is that you want. Send it out there to the higher power so that, so that they can send it back in the form of your treasure. I mean, look at this. Okay? So I really feel like if you build it, they will come, Cancer, but you... Um, I think for some of you, you're maybe focusing on the wrong thing or um, focusing on, I don't know, um, may, maybe trying to manifest in, in negative emotions. Let me cut this. To, well, actually, I want to take keep these three out. What I do? I want to keep these three out. <laughs> Sorry, Cancers. Okay, so... Um, community. I think you guys need to manifest. You need to get out more. Get out into your community. If you're looking for a new love or you're ready to manifest in something new, you've got to be able to put yourself out there. You know? You have to be seen, man. <laughs> right? 
So yeah, I feel like getting yourself out there, meeting new people, finding your soul tribe, as soon as you start showing yourself and the true, your true self, right? Vibing high. Um, with every step, I feel like you should be kind of in between worlds, walking in the 3D and listening to what the divine has to tell you at the same time. Do you see what I'm saying? Because they're leading you and I feel like they're also pushing you forward. Um, yeah, yeah, I feel like you guys need to get out there in the sunlight, maybe around nature, but I feel like um, that's when you're going to meet someone new. That's when you're going to just meet new people that are going to vibe in the same vibration you are. Okay. Um, yeah, if you build it, if you build it, and the universe knows what you want, spirit knows what you want, it will come. If you build it, it will come. Yeah, right now you guys are probably feeling like there's no place like home. And I, honestly, um, and I almost saw this as no, there's no peace like home. I'm going to read it like that because that's what I'm seeing it as. There's no peace like home. And I feel like you've put yourselves, like you, you're isolating yourselves in your home because that's where you find your most peace. But that needs to change with the five here. You need to step out of your comfort zone, <laughs> right? Stop isolating yourself. Look at all how this house is glowing, too. Do you see that? That's you in this little house here containing yourself, containing your glow, not showing it to the world. That needs to change. That needs to change, Cancer. You know, manifest the things that you want. Really, if you build it, build it in your mind, Cancer. Build it in your mind. Down to details. And believe in it. And put it out there. We Look, I know you, Cancer. I know what's in your heart. You're not going to ask for something that's unreasonable. So, you know what? Dream it. Build it in your mind. Tell the universe what it is that you want. Let it out. Put it out there for the universe. Get out of your home. Because all of these high vibes, they belong out here. Where you can show off your glow. So that others can pick up on it. Okay? <laughs> That's, I think, what you're here to do, Cancer. Is to show the world how high vibing you are. Not to keep it locked up in this home. Look, you can't contain that glow anymore. It's time to change that with the five here. Okay? Chop wood. Um, you guys may be working on something. Um, you know, maybe you're trying to manifest money or you're trying to manifest a new job or whatever it is that you're trying to manifest. Imagine you getting it. Imagine if you're trying to manifest in a new person, if you build it, you have to tell the universe what you want in a new person. You have to tell the universe what you want in a new job, in, an, in the form of abundance, how you're going to get that. You know what I mean? You, if you build it, they will come. Okay? Yeah, it's time. Tick tock. It's time to start forming, forming this new cycle here. But the only way to do that is to let those vibes come out of this house. Let them come out. Show, let the, these vibrations, how high you're vibing, that that how your house can't contain it anymore baby you got to get out there and show yourself so these new treasures can come your way okay now is that time now is that time right now you probably are feeling like you're stuck you some of you could not i don't want to say stuck some of you could feel stuck i want to say this is like a momentary pause right maybe you felt a lull um between past and future. Well, you're on the egg copter now. And see where this flag is? It's flying in this direction. It wants to take you into the future. 
This is another five. Change. Okay, coming out of that home where your vibe, your high vibes and all the beautiful things about you are so well contained, isolated, bringing it out into the open. You know, it's, it's, it's time for that now. So I feel like you're, you're going to start moving forward here, Cancer. Okay, things are going to start moving forward because the egg copter just can't be stopped, right? Um, into your future, your past, I feel like um, as difficult as it may be, right? Your past needs to stay in the past and you need to start manifesting all the new things. Yes, yes, you're probably thinking about the things that have died off in this last cycle, the things that have ended, right? And you're probably sitting here ready, you know, ready to move forward, knowing you're going to be going into your new future, but still sitting here like thinking about this stuff that seems to have died, right? But listen, this is a regeneration card, but this is like a death card to me, okay? It's at a completion here with a 10. It, you, this cycle, this old cycle has been completed, but here's the thing, some new things are going to be regenerated here. There's still life down here underneath all of this crap, but you've got to move forward. You've got to tell the universe what to do with all that energy that's new. Where, tell the universe where to put it. You know? What you want done with it, and the only way to do that manifesting is about building it in your mind. If you build it, they will come. They will come, Cancer. They will come, baby. But you, you've got to, you've got to build it first. In, in a space in between, this world, and the divine, you have to build it. And this, to me, I feel like is like meditation. It's manifestation. Okay. It's communicating with spirit and telling them what you want so that this old energy that has died off that has ended can regenerate into something new in your future you're done with the stuff from the past you're done with that now focus on the future but you got to get out of your house man some of you are totally isolated you're like it's too peopley out there right yeah and there's no peace like home, man. There's no peace like home. Some of you are thinking out there, there's just no peace. There's no peace, right? It's peaceful in your home. You love it there. Cancers, we love our house. But you're, you've got to move forward, sweetie. The wind is taking you there anyway. The change it's going to happen. And so, you know, try to get out and about. Oot in a boot. Get out in a boot, Cancer. Who's out in Canada? Oot. Shout out to everybody in Canada. <laughs> yeah, you have to, you have to get out of the house, into the community. Um, let that let that high vibing beautiful healing energy glow okay all right so what else do we have for cancer give me one more and then we'll get into a different deck i just i you know i've been called to use this one for that message cancer um and i feel like it's very important it's very important that we get our heads out of the past get our minds out of the past and m push our minds more into the future and all the things, the dreamy, dreamy things that are coming towards us, okay? It's time to manifest, Cancers. It is, it's time to manifest right now. Manifest the things that you want. I feel like they, they, they could be already coming forward towards you with Treasure Island here. Um, like you guys could even see your abundance, but I'm seeing hearts too. Love is love can be there too, but you have to build it. 
first. If you build it, they will come. Know the things that aren't for you, right? Knowing what's not for you, keeping those things out of your manifestations, right? Keeping the things that you know are not for you out of your thoughts. Right? This egg copter, where is it? The egg copter, the egg copter is like on pause right now because you're still, you're part manifesting future things and you're part thinking about the past. Maybe it's time to realize that what's not for you is not for you and focus more on the things that are for you, right? The things that are for you that are coming and let those old things just fly away little piece by piece. Be, be gentle with yourself, Cancer. Have patience with yourself as you let old things go because it's it can be very emotional and very painful painful right when this when this thing comes off of the zebra's back it's going to probably hurt how, who knows how long you've been carrying these burdens on your back so be patient with yourself be kind to yourself take care of yourself as you let energetically let some things go from the past those are things that were not for you a change is coming here, okay? A change. Yeah, a new soulmate. What did I say? A new soulmate. Or this is one of the things that you could be releasing. You could be releasing soulmates that you cared a lot about. And it's going to hurt to do that. And you may be releasing them little memories at a time, piece by piece, a little bit every day. So be gentle with yourself because it can be painful to let go of someone who is close to you. But that also needs to change too. We've got fives all over this reading. But I feel like as you release and manifest, you know, if you build it, it will come, right? As you release and manifest, the new, the new shows up. And now your ideas, your thoughts, your manifestations will start taking form here. This is a new beginning. We're back at a one. It's a new beginning. It's like an ace. A passionate new beginning for you. All because you know what you what's not for you now. And sometimes, sometimes letting go of even soulmates that mean a lot to you. Um, it's really hard even when you know they're not good for you or even when you know they're not for you. It's still hard to let go. It's still hard. So, you know, it's it could it could hurt. So, just be patient with yourself, Cancer, okay? Um, but yeah, Letting go of what's not for you so that the new can come in. So that this is all of your manifestations. And the, the, it's a new beginning. Okay? So I feel like, yeah, that's you're manifesting, but I'm, I feel like you're being urged to put the past in the past where it belongs. Okay? Um, and patiently, being patient with yourself, letting go of even possible soulmates that just weren't for you. All right? We have lots of soulmates, Cancer. There's so many. Um, not everyone is made to stay in your life, you know? And it's a, it's a hard realization, it's hard to come to, but um, once you do, you can start, you know, healing from it, right? Getting over things and thinking about the new that you want. And if you build the new, it will come. All right, what else do we have for cancer? Yeah, that's a really good reading just all in itself, but okay. on the bottom of the deck, uh, Temperance, they're mixing things up. See, if you 
tell the divine what it is that you want in the new, they'll mix it up for you. They will. They'll get it in the works. You know, you always, always have the divine there. And they will intervene if you, if you ask them, okay? If you tell them what it is. You know? They're mixing something up for you, though, Cancer. I feel like you guys have been manifesting, but the, I think the reason why I have to do this reading is because you're manifesting new while you're still thinking about the past person, okay? So, and that's what I feel from the egg copter. You're, you're manifesting new in the future, but you're still thinking about the past. And I think it's keeping you still hovering here in, in the middle, in the here and now. You haven't quite moved forward yet. Um, I feel like the divine is urging you, you know, to move forward and use your intuition, you know. Um, but yet, yeah, look, on the bottom of the deck, all I did was shuffle it a couple times and pick it up. Ace of Pentacles, new beginning. New beginning, Cancer. It's coming. We got new beginning. Oop, this one wants to come with it. Possible communication from someone that's hanging on. But, you know, once again, this is really, truly a reading about manifestation. And that's what you can have. They're mixing. The divine is mixing it up for you right now. Right now. You know? Yeah. And this is also manifesting with the magician here. We're going to leave it there. Manifesting with the magician manifesting your new beginning so that the divine can mix that up just for you okay let's maybe see what's yeah go into calmer waters and happiness happiness I knew they they were like no just Shuffle a couple more times. I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is the ultimate happy ending. Cancer, for real. The Ten of Freaking Cups. This is everyone happy, gleeful, dancing around. Um, an abundance in love, luck, health, happiness, money, uh, comfort, great memories, good times. This is everything. This is the kind of life that everyone dreams about. You're manifesting this. You're manifesting this and your manifestations are so freaking powerful. Um, yeah, you're, you're going to have this new beginning. This is the thing that, this is the stuff that the divine wants to mix up for you. This is what the divine wants to mix up for you, Cancer. Yes, it's all coming because you're manifesting here. You're manifesting. Yep. Good job, Cancers. Just remember, go be patient with yourself. Be patient. Okay, but all of these manifestations are going to come. You, you have the power to manifest uh, the perfect life with love, family, and abundance. It's coming. It's coming, Cancer. It's coming. It's a gift from the divine. Woo! All right, Cancers, that's awesome. Listen, um, that's what I've got for you today. I don't think I'm going to take this into the extended, guys. Um, yeah, I don't think I need to because I, I don't think this is like deeper than a love reading here, okay? So anyway, um, I'll do another one for Patreon, but I love you Cancers. If this resonates with you and you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, my darlings, manifest your little hearts out. And uh, peace.